Which I quite do. Oh, so um, I'm Joe Exotic. I'm sure most people have watched the Tiger do- Tiger King documentary, and you've all have your opinions as to who is guilty, who is not guilty. Um, one thing is for sure with these things, you watch them, and mo- more likely than not, I try not to form an opinion based on what you see in the documentary because you know the person that's putting it together, the director, the producer, they're effectively storytellers, right? It's essentially like a, it's essentially like um a little bit more of it's essentially an extended version of a reality tv show right they want to present to you what they want to present to you um even i've heard people that are in documentaries who've told the producer or the filmmaker one version of the story and then when they see it in post or they see it in production it's a completely different narrative so you can't necessarily take anything from it you can't glean anything what you can say from the facts of what you have available is that jerry exotic has come out of it like you know an absolute you know character he's absolutely took any celebrity another level we obviously have the impression that he's just you know uh you know your kind of quintessential narcissist somebody who was kind of um very much looking forward to the day when he could become a celebrity um outside of the stuff he was doing in his kind of animal sanctuary or his quote-unquote zoo and now he's finally got his wish but unfortunately he's got it whilst he's behind bars right it's the double whammy of having to of having you know finally achieved your no try to that you want but also knowing that you're going to be spending the most of your time most of your life in prison for an alleged hit that he put on one of his um one of his um sworn enemies that carol has a carol or caroline whatever her name is in the documentary but there's one section of it someone uploaded which is a very poignant because it speaks about what we've kind of been going through now with the coronavirus and in terms of what the government tells you in terms of how they you know this disease was or this virus sorry it was getting spoken about in you know with caution and with trepidation from like december i'm gonna say right when we heard news of the doctor in china supposedly getting you know annexed because he decided to speak up and say something was going on with this coronavirus right but the experts told you not to worry right they said it was nothing to really get that annoyed about they didn't they didn't give us any precautions they didn't tell us to wear face masks from that day so that we could just kind of stem the flow and now suddenly it's kind of going to overdrive and now they're telling us and imploring us to stay inside they're you know bailing out their buddies they're not providing adequate care um there's not enough ppe going around at the hospitals and the care facilities it's all a complete mess right so they've essentially got caught with their pants down and now they're employing us with their hand held out or begging us on tv to kind of help them out and make sure things go well and again i'm hoping once everything gets to settle down and, and you know everything's back to normal that we don't forget how much shit they put us in right and the damage that they've caused because essentially you know we vote them into power we have the ability to kick them out in some cases not all but in some and i thought this message from jay exactly definitely spoke to it and i'm going to play it here for you guys to listen to here in this country when we have somebody that's been declared a domestic terrorist that is too political to prosecute when the hell is it right to crawl in somebody's place poison our animals burn shit down walk on sidewalks in california anywhere else in the country and throwing red paint on people just because they choose to wear a fur coat amen there is nothing free about this goddamn country anymore it's all about who you pay and who you know i let me move on to a senator by the name of john thug you know the worst thing he can do is lay in bed and an alarm clock goes off and the today show's playing and all you see is Mayhem, murder, and bullshit. And when I'm talking about bullshit, I'm talking about the politicians and the shit that's going on here in America. Now we're going to have some senator named John Thune that's going to introduce some bill to make it illegal for a business to be able to sue somebody for putting a false review on Yelp or TripAdvisor. Let me give you a little education, mister. First of all, you people up there in Washington and the White House and the Senate and the Congress and everything else, you need to work four years and then you need to get out and get a real fucking job. So you know what's going on in the business world in America. Let me tell you something. I've been self-employed for over the last 35 years. And I'm out here in the real world and I know what's right or wrong or bullshit or you can scoop them with a scoop shovel. You know what the problem is with online trip advisor and Yelp and all that other bullshit? First thing is, is you fire an employee and what do they do? They get a vendetta against you. So they get on the internet and they post all this negative shit about your business online and you can't get it off of there. 
The second thing is, is you got people just like that rescue facility down there in Florida and the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries that's all fucking jealous of what anybody else is doing. And this is all about getting donations shoved over to your facility if you can badmouth somebody else. So what do they do? They get all their employees, all their volunteers, and all the people that like them online to go over to your trip advisor and your internet sites and start putting bad <laughs> reviews on there that Jesus Christ, your animals are starving, your cages are dirty, the place looks like shit, the people are rude, and there ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it. What you need to do instead of introducing the law to protect them motherfuckers, you need to introduce the law to protect the people that are paying your fucking wages. All right, I'm 100% true and you can't you can't necessarily say anything more than that can you but one thing that kind of intrigued me about the documentary was that there was a lack of talk about drugs they kind of mentioned obviously meth you obviously saw the guy on there who's got the you know he's got the complete meth mouth you know his whole teeth were missing which I didn't know that was a thing meth mouth but you know it makes complete sense but there was a real lack of acknowledgement of just how much drugs played a factor into this whole episode of Joe Exotic you know he was able to turn out two guys through it he was able to essentially plot the revenge killing of one of his competitors and essentially wind up in jail just because of that all that stuff and again but they're probably high functioning drug addicts in that regard because they're able to run a successful business and you know keep the punters coming in week in week out without any real delay so that's probably a credit to them in that regard but if you haven't checked it out and i'm sure the whole world has seen it by now because all the celebrities are talking about it but definitely an amazing documentary and definitely something that kind of opened my eyes in terms of understanding what this people in the south are actually like right what that kind of uh swamp persons like you hear a lot of it, swamp people in the swamp people from the swamp and they're a lot more i think from watching stuff like fargo you realize isn't it especially how they depict that kind of like midwestern um, easy going, laid back sort of individual where they kind of look, they kind of play dumb. They, I think it's one of the four year laws of power, isn't it? Right, act dumber than what you actually are. So they, uh, they have this appearance of being a little bit dopey and a little bit dim witted, but they're really clever, really conniving. And if you fuck around with them, you know you could get fucked up for real, especially in their kind of climate, on their landscape, or in their kind of backyard. That's not the right thing to do. But definitely recommend you check that.